All right, so I showed you one way to put the mounting holes in. Uh, that was to um, put them on the uh, router level, um, the edge cuts, and that puts the holes in it just fine. But they're just going to be holes. What if we want it to, sort of like a via, we want an annular, uh, and we want that connected to ground and everything. We want the plated hole and everything. So here's how you do that. So let's uh, let's get out of here. Um, so we will uh, go ahead and go to the schematic. Okay. What we want to do is we want to add a part, and they actually have. If you if you uh, if you come here and you filter it, you just put in mount uh, mounting. Mounting, so hit anyway, ah, I can't, can't type. So mounting hole, so you can have a mounting hole without a connection, mounting hole with a connection, and then mounting hole uh, as a pad name MP and whatever. So we want the mounting hole with a connection, okay? It's gonna ask us for an input too, so we'll see how that works. Okay, so you put the physical mounting hole on the schematic page, which is really weird. And since we have four holes, we need to add four mounting pads. So a very, a very strange thing to do. And then the next strange thing to do is you have to connect them to ground. Okay. And so we will then uh, connect these all to ground. So we're going to have a nice hole. All right. So the next thing we need to do is as before, whenever you put a part in, you have to tell it what kind of a footprint to use for the for the PC board. So we go into footprint editor and it says mounting pad and it's blank. So we go down here to our list and there is a section here for mounting holes. And then mounting holes comes in a bowl, bunch of different sizes, okay? And uh, so I remeasured the holes in that board. They're actually two and a half millimeter holes. So we're gonna we're going to use two and a half millimeter. We can have a pad. We can have a pad top only. Pad, uh, top, oh, pad top and bottom. Pad top only. Pad via. Uh, let's see here. We want pad via. I think that will play. That will plate it through. We'll find out if that's true or not. So we'll copy this and we'll just paste it for all of the uh, all of the holes. We'll go to our PCB layout. We Okay, we're back. We've just put in the uh, hole. So the first thing we need to do here is uh, to delete all of the um, holes we use the other way around. And we will uh, update from PCB. Okay, so now we need to put these where they need to be. We'll highlight the whole thing this way. Not in schematic, except blah, 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 locked. I think lock, we'll just lock these together. Oh, there we go. That looks better. All right. 103.5 and yes. 103.5. Bang. Move the whole thing. Excellent. All right, let's move this one. Make sure it's locked. 103.5 and one, oops, 143 minus 3.5. Okay, it's down there. Okay, good. We'll do this one, make sure it's locked. We'll do X is 143 minus 3.5 and the Y will be 103.5. Bang. Okay, good. Now we'll do this one. We'll lock them together and we'll do a 143 minus 3.5 and a 139.5. Don't need to type it all in. There we go. Now we're all good. Now we're all good. View 3D viewer. Look at that. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. That's what we want. That's what we want it to look like. All right. All right. It's not great practice to have that little bit extend out there, but but the 
CACAD rules and everything, they'll just chop that off. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Or they'll complain about it and you say, yeah, don't worry about it. All right. So let's get rid of that. And now we're up here and everything looks, everything looks good. Now, um, let's go ahead and do uh, a copper pour. Okay. So we want these things to be copper in the front, copper in the back. Let's turn off the front layer. Let's look at the back layer. And on the back layer, we will do add a filled zone. And we're going to say it's ground netlist. Okay. Netlist is what is it connected to? And we can draw it on the outside because it will automatically figure things out. Then you right click and say close. Now everything's good. And when you hit the B button, the B button fills it all in. So now we have a filled thing. We can, oops, we can do a view 3D viewer and see if it looks right on the back. Flip it over and yes, indeed. So now we have these thermal reliefs, but the whole backside is, is copper. And then let's do it for the front side as well. Okay. So we'll turn off the back side. We'll turn on the front side. And then we will put in a fill zone. And we'll say that's ground also. And then we'll just go bang, 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 close, B button, we're done. And you can see on this side, it's automatically done all the stuff it needs to do. It connected this to ground. And yeah, everything looks great. So now when we do a view 3D, yeah, see now the top looks beautiful copper. It's all filled in. So, um, and the tab is connected to this big slab of copper. So we'll have great heat sinking. So that will be good. That will be good. All right. So the next thing we need to do is to create a way to describe the solder pads for the SMA connectors. Okay. So we'll go back to the schematic and uh, we need to add uh, some pins. So we will add a connector and uh, it will be a one by one connector. Okay. Just one pin. So we'll say connector one, one, say, okay. And then we will put one here. We will put one, oops, where, where, where is it? I can't see the little, okay. And then we'll put one over here. There it is. Uh, I can't, I need to move this one. Okay. So now we have three connectors to the outside world. Okay. And we could create a footprint for those, right? So we have um, J123. It's defaulted to some spark fund, something or other. If you don't know what that is, you can push this button over here and it'll show you what it's going to look like. It'll just be a pad. Okay. That's fine. We'll say, okay, we'll come here. We will update, update PCB, close. And now we've got these four things or three things, right? We've got this one that is our power. Power probably goes up here somewhere. And we've got uh, this one, which is our input. It'll be over here. And then our other one, it'll be over here. But we don't want, we don't want these things. Maybe this one we do. Okay, so that one's probably fine because we're going to, that one gets hand soldered. So it's J3, we're not going to change. But we want to change J1 and J2 to these rectangular pads. Okay, so I went and measured, oops, I went and measured them and they are, where's my measurement? Um, two and a half by three and a half. All right, so let's create a, a pad. All right, so uh, what we will do. is we will save our work. Always save, save our work. Okay, so now there's things over here. We can do a um, symbol editor 
or a schematic editor, a footprint editor. We want a new footprint. Now we're going to say, okay, we want a footprint. All right. And what we want to do is we want to put it in the MSIGI footprint library here. And um, we want to create a new footprint into the footprint name. It's going to be uh, SMA rectangle footprint SMD. Yes, that's right. So those through holes are SMDs, but we just want one, one sheet on the top. So we're going to say OK to that. And um, it is now here in MSI Guy Footprints. Okay, so now we're going to create it. And you can go up here and you can say, okay, add a pad. We want to add a pad. And we're going to add a pad right here in the center. Okay. And then we're going to edit that pad. So we double click it. And it said, ah, what you got here? Uh, let's see here. High CAD front, blah, 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 blah. Uh, width and height. So width we want, uh, what did I say? 5.5. And height we wanted 2.5. Let's take a look at that. And... Oops, I just <laughs> I just changed the reference, not the actual thing. That's dumb. That's dumb. I wanna I wanna change the I wanna change this thing. Three objects selected. Ah, how do I get just the pad? I want just not the reference. I want the pad. Click click. No. Click click. There we go. Pad. Shoo! Just have to click on the right thing. Okay, pad times SMD, blah, 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 blah. Pad size, okay. 5.5 and Y is gonna be 2.5. Ah, yeah, there you go, it's rectangular now. And it's a good size. All right, so it's one pin and it is rectangular, the shape that we wanted and everything. We will save this, uh, save, close this. We'll go back to our Schematic or our uh, PCB, and we will do a. No, we want to go back to here. Our footprint editor. We wanted to leave three alone. We'll change one and two. So connector one. We will make MSI guy footprints. S M. Let's see. Where is it? I want the SMA rectangle. Where is the SMA rectangle? Here it is, right there. Staring me in the face. Oh, shoot. Didn't do it right. I do this all the time. Highlight the one you want, J1. We want MSEG guy footprints. Um, SMA rectangle, double click it, and then it comes up here. And then you can copy and paste it. Okay, good. Okay. And then we can go here, and we can update, update, and boom. Now, now we got these two rectangles. Looks good to me. Okay, we can take this one, and we can move it to where we want, maybe right there. We can take this one, and we can move it maybe right, right here. Remember, we know that the distances and stuff, so we'll, we'll figure that out later. But we'll just put them here for fun. All right. And then just let's put some pads in between the two of them just for fun. Track width, we're going to do that. And we'll do that. And then we can route these things just as easy as that. We're all done. Hit the B button and that re pours all the copper. And then we will do the 3D viewer. And look at that. It's exactly what we want. We've got this pad here. 
it goes through the thing, the pad goes to the other side. We've got mounting holes. We've got a hole here uh, that doesn't seem to be connected to anything yet because I didn't route it. So we'll kill that. Yep. Whenever there's a line here, that is your connection and they are unconnected. Okay. So we will go back to our thing and we'll just, uh, yeah, it's good. We'll just put it on like that. Okay. Hit the B button. Everything looks good. And then we'll go back to the 3D viewer just for fun because it photographs well. Um, yeah, there we go. So it would be something like that. The back side is all copper. And then the front side will be our circuit. Okay. So we're kind of now a place where we have something that we can kind of now think about. Okay. We probably want to figure out, well, what size capa uh, capacitors do we really want? What, what about this inductor? Is it a through hole inductor? Or maybe we should go to, uh, I mean, a surface mount, or maybe we should go to a through hole inductor. We don't know yet, but we sort of have a general layout. We kind of know this is kind of what we want. Um, what we need to do now is um, we need to move these uh, two pads here. We know they're supposed to be exactly 15 millimeters from this edge, so we could do that. Um, Let's see here. We could just uh, do that real quick here. Let's double click this one. Oops. Get out of that. Okay. So footprint, location. We want to be one, oops, 143 minus 15. Uh, not an X. Nope. Kill this. I'm hitting my escape button. Whenever you get in trouble, hit the escape button. Okay, why we want to do why? Why we want 143 minus 15, bang. That's where it should be. And then this one is the same thing. It's going to be 143, oops, minus 3.5, boom. That, oh, I did something wrong. Control Z, Control Z. Okay, click here, Control Z, there it is. No harm, no foul. Do it again, footprints. Which one did I change? The Y location. Y location, 143 minus 3.5, bang. What happened? Y location, X location. What is the matter? What did I do here? I want to move it down. Yeah, see, I moved it. 143 minus 3.5, oh, minus 15. Ah, minus 15. There we go. And I'm going to delete the route here. Okay, so I want to show you one thing here. You click it, and then you type U. It takes the whole thing. Delete that. Here, U, delete. Gets rid of all of it. Now we can route it again. Bang. We can come here and go in. And we can go here and go out. This one's a little goofy right here, so let's fix that. There, done. We hit the B button to re-pour the copper, and yes, that looks very, very good. We could grab this and slide it down. For right now, we're just going to leave it just because we're doing thinking processes right now. Like I said, I usually add a board twice. Um, people are going to say, oh, you should do it right the first time. But this is just my thinking process. If you're doing a brand new thing, Sometimes you just need to think about it and modify it along the way as you go. Um, 3D viewer. So how are we looking now? Da, 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 da. This one goes zoop, up there to get that. And then uh, the grounds are automatically connected. We could put a, a wired ground as well. We might think about that for the power supply. I don't, I don't think so. I think that connects to the shell. So I think this is good to go. This is really, really good to go. All right. So we're going to stop the video here. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, next step will be, let's finalize the components, maybe slide things down a bit. We, we need to add a bunch of artwork, graphics, you know, inside guy, maybe put inside dog on the back or something. We need to do all those things before we can uh, make this thing pretty and get it out the door.